Hey guys, my name is Daniel Mudeki, and I'd like to thank you all so much for joining me today. Most importantly, I'd like to thank God for enabling us, all of us, to see this new day. As we always say, guys, time and time again, it is not automatic that we woke up today and saw a new day. So always remember to say thank you to God for that opportunity. Well, I'd also like to thank you all for watching the content that I've been putting out. And I pray that these messages have been of blessing into your life. And today I want you to request you one thing. Make sure that not only are you listening, but try and implement them so that you can see the desired results, the desired changes, and the things that you want your life to be. And so thank you so much for that. And I pray that we'll continue walking together and sharing together in this ministry. Well, guys, in today's video, I'd like to talk about something that uh, is not easy to talk about, but it's the truth. And this is something that a lot of us are victims of. I personally at some times have been a victim of this. And today I want us to talk about selfishness. You know, guys, we have all been guilty of considering only ourselves. You know, selfishness is when you do not care about other people. You are overly concerned with only what you will benefit from something. You are overly concerned with only what you will achieve from something. But other people's feelings, other people's emotions, what they have to go through, doesn't matter to you. It doesn't matter to you whatsoever. And I'll tell you one thing, guys. This has now become the world we are living in today. Where every place you go, people are trying to propel and propagate this message that it's all about you. What do you get out of it? And I have realized that is where we are in the trouble we are today. Not only as a society, but as a country, as a world. When you are selfish, when everything revolves around you and your thoughts and your choices, and you don't care about what other people think, you don't care about what other people have to say about something, then that is a recipe of disaster. You know, guys, when the Pharisees got Jesus Christ chilling somewhere and they tried to trap him with a question, which is the most important commandment in the law? You know, Jesus in his wisdom told them that the most important commandment, number one, is to love the Lord your God with all your heart, mind, body, and soul. Second most important commandment, and Christ said, as important as the first one, is to love your neighbor as you love yourself. You know, Christ, as he was teaching people, he understood that if you do not reverence God, if you do not understand that there is a God you must believe in and have faith in, then it is very difficult for you to be able to think and care about other people. And that's why he said, one, love the Lord your God. Number two, love your neighbor as you love yourself. How many times, guys, you who are watching me today, how many times have you hurt people knowing very well what you're doing to them would hurt you? How many times have you put people in circumstances that you do not want to be put in? And so why are you doing to others what you would not want to be done for? You know, the scripture also tells us, do not be only concerned about yourself, but be concerned about others as well. You know, if I look back and remember, okay, not remember, maybe read, because I wasn't born then, but if I look back and read and see the African society, African culture, we were one. The African culture was one thing. People lived together. People valued each other. Children were disciplined by adults. Any adult will discipline your child. Because there was a oneness in society. But as recently as a couple of decades ago, 
this selfishness started creeping into society. Where now, as we are growing up, you'd find out, oh, maybe your, your parents and this certain, their brothers and sisters are not in talking terms. This uncle and this uncle don't talk because of maybe some inheritance issues. And that was an introduction into our society of selfishness. And before you know it, 2021 today, selfishness has got into the core of society, which is the nuclear family. My brothers and sisters, let me tell you something. A family can survive without a nation, but a nation cannot survive without family. And if you read the scriptures, they tell us that in the end times, people will be lovers of themselves. Now we are in families where the word I stands stronger than the word we. It is about I, how I feel, what I want, what it makes me feel, what I want to do. Families have been broken because of the word I. It is high time we sat down and remembered you are not who you are because of yourself. A society around you, people around you have had to do something to get you to where you are today. And so it is absolutely important that you remember the world does not revolve around you. The levels of corruption in this country, why? Because people have forgotten, love your neighbor as you love yourself. How can you embezzle funds that are meant for Mwanainchi? They end up sleeping hungry while you end up in a big mansion, food to even throw away. Love your neighbor as you love yourself. If that principle was adhered to, so many ills in society would not be discussed as we are now. We'd be dealing with other things. My friends, it is high time you sit back and look at yourself and realize if everything revolves around you, if everything is about you, how do I feel? What do I want? What do I like? They don't make me feel. They don't. We are, we are full of a society of takers. Everybody wants to take something. Nobody's willing to give. So how can you take from me if you don't give? How can I take from you if I've never given? I talk about the analogy of a bank account. You only deposit, sorry, you only withdraw what you deposit. Friends, in this society today, if we don't deposit the thought of others, how do you want others to think about you? If you don't care for others, how do you want them to care for you? If you don't respect others, how do you want them to respect you? It's not going to work. At our places of work, we are facing challenges. Because organizations have become about me. How do I climb the corporate ladder? It doesn't matter if I step on a couple of toes, if I destroy the livelihood of a couple of families, as long as I get what I want. As long as I get to the pinnacle of the corporate world, it doesn't matter what I had to do. My friends, let me tell you one thing. We are not here as permanent residents of this earth. A day will come when we will all be buried. Whatever it is you've amassed today, at the cost of others, you will leave it here. And Christ said in one of his statements in the Bible, when a certain man asked him, kindly help us to divide land between me and my brother, inheritance, and Christ said, how do you call me to discuss such matter of things? A man is not of value by the things he owns. It is not what you own that gives you value. It is the character that you have. I've attended many funerals and I've never heard anybody discuss about what people own or what they've left behind. You left billions of shillings. Nobody mentions that. Everybody wants to mention character. Everybody wants to mention how you made them feel. Everybody wants to mention what kind of legacies you've left behind. How you impacted people's lives. And so my friends, let me tell you, when you want to grow, 
not considering other people, stepping on other people's toes day and night. It's all about you. The whole world revolves around you. There's a problem. There's a big problem. We have neglected our children. Because it's all about us. We are thinking about me, 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 me. A society of me, 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 me. It's not going to take us anywhere. We must be careful. You must be considerate of other people. Even the body today. Look at your body. Your body operates by ensuring every part, as little as it is or as large as it is, is doing its function. All right? Without this thumb, there are so many things you'd not be able to do. So despite this being a very small part of your body, it's very important. Without this tongue that I have today, I would not be communicating to you. Despite having a brain, I would not be able to speak. And so, my friends, you cannot be without those who are around you. You cannot be without society. And Jesus Christ said it very well. Love your neighbor as you love yourself. Your neighbor being other people. Be considerate of other people. There's a friend of mine who also does some YouTube videos. And I watched his video, I think, some time back. And he was talking about forgiveness. And when Christ told us in the prayer he taught us in the Bible, book of Matthew chapter 6, what does it say? Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Equal measure. Lord, forgive me as I forgive others. And so you being forgiven is dependent on you forgiving others. Are you getting what I mean, guys? It is what you give that you receive. It is what you give out to people that they'll give back to you. And so please, let us stop being selfish. Let us stop thinking about ourselves alone. Especially today, I'm going to mention guys who are married. Listen and listen good. The scriptures tell us when two become one flesh. Do you get what that means? Two become one flesh. You stop existing as an individual. And so your likes, your dislikes are melted into one pot so that you can create a new culture amongst you where you have compromise, you have communication, you have sacrifice so that you two are in a happy situation. Let me tell you one thing. A marriage that still has I, I, I me, 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 is going nowhere. Because it's a boiling pot where we all come and mix up and become one thing. The Bible says two become one flesh. Can I steal from myself? No. Can I injure myself? No. Can I cheat on myself? No. Can I disrespect myself? No. Can I abuse myself? And that's the thing. When you understand what two become one flesh means, it means you will not do to your partner what you cannot do to yourself because you're one thing. And so my friends, I just want you to open up your eyes today. Because I'll tell you, selfishness is a blindfold. It blinds you from seeing other things. It blinds you from other people's needs. It blinds you from other people's cares. You don't care about anything else. All that matters in life is you. And that is what selfishness is. The world today is blind. Some of the ideologies we have had in these countries of ours have been motivated and propelled by individualism, by selfishness. Just think back, guys who grew up in the 80s and 90s, think how you grew up. Think how you grew up. You would rarely go hungry because a neighbor would do something for you. You would rarely stay out of school because someone would come and help and pay school fees. May I remember we used to go to school, one neighbor would carry all the kids in the estate. Then maybe my dad would pick us up, another boudet will drop us. That was how it was. But today, 
people live in one society. You'll find one is walking, the other one is driving, car is empty, the other one it doesn't even have. Nowadays, try and discipline someone's child outside. You'll find yourself in a court of law. What happened to society? What happened to that fabric that we had? We have bought into the lies of the devil. Where God is telling us, love your neighbor as you love yourself. The devil is preaching and shouting that it is all about you. More for you. Get more for you. It's all about you. It's about your children. It's about your own selfish interests. I want to tell you today, it takes a village to raise a child. It takes a society to make you who you are today. It has taken people to make you who you are today. So step back from this point of selfishness, where we cannot, be, we cannot tolerate other people politically. We are unable to tolerate differences because you think your idea is the best idea. There are many other examples. There are many other theologies. There are many other ideologies that people want to follow. Allow them to do it. Don't be selfish. The world does not revolve around you or me. We have to think about other people, my friends. Because I know one day, we will all depart this earth. And we will be answerable to someone. Whoever your creator is, whoever your God is, you will be answerable to him. What will you tell them? Do you think you'll be able to explain your corruption? Do you think you'll be able to explain your infidelity because of your own selfish interests? Do you think you'll be able to explain leaving someone hungry just because of your own selfish interests? My friends, let's take care of this before it's too late. Let's take care of this before it's too late. Selfishness is a blindfold that blinds everybody. And before we know it, we'll no longer be a society. It has now entered into the deepest fabric of society, which is the nuclear family, where husband and wife talk about I, 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 forgetting their children, forgetting the reason that brought them together. It's all about I, I, I. So I pray that we will all realize that this is a very dangerous thing, very dangerous ground that we are walking on. So I pray that God will help you realize that selfishness will only destroy you, it will not build you. It might take you somewhere, but it won't get you to the destination. As some have said, if you want to go far, You go with people. If you want to go quick, you go alone, but you don't get far. Okay? I'd like us to pray. Father Lord, you know the ills that are in our society today. You know the challenges that we are having as people. Lord Father, we have believed that it's all about us. We have believed that we come before anything else. But God, unfortunately, this has come to the detriment of our society. It has come to the detriment of families, O oh God. And I pray that, Lord, you will restore us back to a point where we will consider other people. As your scripture tells us, love the Lord your God with all your heart, mind, body, and soul. Let us remember to reverend God and have faith in him. And as a second commandment, as important as the first, love your neighbor as you love yourself. Let us care for others, O oh God, and not only ourselves. Father, I thank you, I worship you, I adore you. Give us wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. And Father, help us deal with this menace in our society today. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Guys, I pray that uh, this coming week will be a week of reflection. Look into your life and see where are you being selfish and where is it costing you and costing others and those who love you. Remember, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, 
feel free to press the subscription button, like the videos, and most importantly, share them with friends and family who you believe will be impacted by watching this. Until next time, may God bless you and take care. Stay safe, guys. Cheers.